Hey there, guys. We're back with uh, more the Chef of Destruction. Um, yeah, um, we're actually going to reload the save because uh, I finally figured out how to get unstuck on the train. Um, I'm going to leave that last episode in because I did do a lot of dialogue and stuff. And also, um, yeah, yeah, I talked about the uh, duelist level, but so... I guess what, according to what I have mapped, the, uh, you know, button in order to duel is... Looks like it's W, so let's talk to this guy with W. Hey, you. Sure thing. Sure thing. A duel's a duel, no matter where it's played. Ah, so now this guy will... Okay, so regular conversation is A, duel is W. So, okay, yeah, let's ante against this guy. This is what I was trying to do. Okay, well, now that I... Yeah, long story short... <laughs> now that I figure, finally figured out how to duel, or how to challenge people to duels, we're basically going to duel um, as many people as we can, um, just to, well, not only to increase our duel level, but basically just to kind of, yeah, kind of see what all we can win out here. So, let's go with uh, Thunder Kid. Yeah, Thunder Kid, attack. Nice. And uh, Sea King, you can attack too. Yeah, we're basically gonna, uh, yeah, since we're really early in the game, and like, I encourage you to do the same in any Yu Gi Oh game you're in, you know? It's just like, yeah, once you, like, this is basically, we've only used our starter deck, like, maybe like three times. So, yeah, definitely use it and see, uh, you know, get used to your deck. Because at this point, I'm not even really used to my own deck, so. I think challenging everyone we can around here in town is a good idea, uh, especially like Yuki and Joey. Probably going against them is probably a good idea, I'm just saying. Grave Digger, ooh. Okay. Uh, oh no, he disabled my Monster Reborn that I don't have. Gasp. Yes. Uh, I guess we could play Leo in here. Uh, well, he's not even defeating our stuff here, so. Yeah. That White Dolphin. Nice. We'll just stack with everybody. Luckily, this guy's not doing too much damage to us, so... Alright. But, uh, one thing I will do is, like, save state in between duels. That way, uh... Yeah. That way we don't, like, lose all our progress, basically. Uh... Let's see. Okay, so I can probably go to about... 45, yeah, 10, 45 or so. Uh, Morphing Jar, get out here. Okay. Bat. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, trust me, I know the struggle, man. I mean, see, see, this guy's feeling how I felt against Rebecca. And, I mean, the fact that Rebecca had a card that good early on, I mean, honestly, um, we probably need any good cards we can get here, so... type advantage so apparently force beats what did I have there win right apparently force beats win that's good to know uh let's just go with uh, mystic lamp mystic lamp use your effect yeah <laughs> wow this guy gave us a deck capacity of three you're kidding Hmm, that's interesting. I did, really didn't expect that from the early game people. Uh, Dancing Elf, an angelic elf that reels and dances in the sky to music. The wings also serve as sharp blades, while this guy lost that one. <laughs> this guy with the mohawk gives an increased dual silver of three? Honestly, that's really good to know, um, especially this early in the game. I'm going to be challenging this guy, like, to a lot more duels. Uh, let's check how many life points we have. Oh, he didn't even damage us. Okay. Uh, well, I do want to save any capacity increase I get, those. so... Let's uh, save state on 10. And we'll duel the other guy here. So, uh, it was W, right? Okay, W. Hey, duel me. I still have my pride as a duelist. <laughs> I don't feel like dueling, but I'll still take you on. Fair and square. Oh! All right, all right. I, I thought he was going to decline. I thought he was going to say no, but... All right, buddy, let's see what you've got. Um, we'll start with Ginnon. Eh, don't worry. He'll be a Jonin in no time. I am my turn. 900 defense ain't bad. Ooh, Tomazaurus, yeah. My turn. Okay. Oh, we got a Drill Bird. Um... 
forgot which type beats what. Is wind good against earth? Okay, apparently it's fine. Alright, and uh, you know what? Let's set this card. Maybe I'll bait out some kind of, you know, MST in this game. <laughs> Oh, okay, Forest Beast Wind. Okay, somehow, yeah, that, that's a weird one to uh, try to remember, but, okay. Um, what does that have? 400? Mm. <laughs> I guess you're doing it, Hain Hain, buddy. Uh, well, you're, wait, <clears throat> you're Wind. You are Forest. Wait, wasn't my other card Wind? I guess I need a tribute here. Uh, tribute? There we go. For Neil. Alright. There we go. Yeah, Leogan's probably our best tribute monster here at this point. Pretty good. A couple base downs, yeah. Nothing to worry about. Alright. Um, <laughs> I doubt I'll ever have a good opportunity to use this for anything good. So let's just use this now and see what his monster is. It is... Rainbow Flower. Okay. 500? Uh, let's just set the spider in defense. I don't trust 400 to make it through anything, so... There we go. Hehe. <laughs> Alright. Go ahead. Go ahead, buddy. Oh, pop the trick. Whoops. And what type is this? Fiend. Hmm. I wonder what's good against Fiend. Um... Right, no shadow auto kills light, so okay, we're okay here. I had to think there for a second when I saw light. I was like, um, no, but I remember last episode we used Mystic Lamp to overtake light, so. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, we got a good 700 monster here. Ooh, apparently Fiends beats. Was I, like, dream-type there? I don't know. I'll have to check that back on recording, but... Man, he KO'd us easy there. Alright. Yeah, type effectiveness, uh, if you haven't noticed, though... Like, it's been so long since I've played this game, I've actually forgotten all the, you know, good type matchups. Like, some of the basic ones I remember, like, you know, Water being good... Oh, dude, again? Like, Water being good against... You know, Pyro, you know, that's easy to remember. Um, like, Lightning being good against uh, Water. You know, stuff like that, I remember. But, like, I've forgotten the, uh, you know, like, Fiends. I don't know what they're against. I don't know what good, uh, what Shadow's good against or Light. So, yeah, it's really, you know, it's like blank slate, you know. So I'm basically going to relearn the types as we go through the game, you know. So, yeah. Yeah, at some point, I may just write them down, because ultimately, that could cost us if I just uh, misremember a uh, super effective matchup. Man, this guy increases by 3, too. No way. Wow. Mechanical Spider? Okay. Hmm. So this is a forest card. A spider-like monster that operates on a system like Clockwork. It attacks using sickles at the tip of its feet. Okay. Instead of fair and square, maybe we should have played by my rules. Psh, yeah, whatever, buddy. Okay, we are pretty close to my house, so we are going to go and save here. Um, is there anything I want to change out? Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, maybe. Let's check out, I mean, as small of a change as it is, let's check out that uh, mechanical spider we got. Like, let's see what type it is. Uh, so let's sort this by tag. Okay, Mechanical Spider should be at the bottom, but it has, like, what, 400 attack? Uh, yeah, here it is. So it has 400 attack, 500 defense. Let's check its details. So it's a force type. Okay. So let's check our deck and see if we have any, like, weaker uh, force types. So let's go to my deck. Uh, let's sort this by attack. Uh, attack. There we go. Okay, let's see what's the lowest. Whew, yeah, Arm Ninja, yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure that's water, though, so this is light. Okay. 
This is fairy. Okay. Um. Okay, and then we get into our regular stuff here. Um. Hmm. Okay, do we have anything else that's aqua? Because if so, I will take a arm ninja. Uh. Well, we have Star Boy. Okay, yeah. <laughs> As, as, as small of a change as it seems, let's take out Arm Ninja for, uh, for, like, that spider. Okay, add the trunk. And I guess we can take this out, too, Magician of Faith. She doesn't have an effect in this game, so... Yeah. Um, let's take this out, too. So, add the trunk. And then we'll go to the trunk. So, we'll throw in the spider. Move the deck. Uh, is there anything else stronger we don't have in the deck? I mean, I doubt it. Oh, this is three. Uh, we have three of this, apparently. This is 450. Okay, anything else? Uh, this appears should be 500, so maybe White Dolphin? Let's see if we have anything stronger. I doubt it, but zero, zero, zero. Okay, we're getting into the zero, so we can go back down. Uh, hmm. Maybe another Star Boy. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, because we had, like, Arm Ninja in there. Man, okay. There we go. Move to deck. Yeah. Okay. And that'll do. Hmm. Alrighty. Well, let's save those changes. Yeah. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna grab a drink, and we're gonna head out and do some more duels. Because that's what this game's all about. There we go. Alright. Yeah, let's go. Man, I'm so glad I finally figured out the, the how to duel button. Because <laughs> at first I thought, like, I don't know, people had to only challenge you. So let's just head to the right here. Let's head up. This is where we first met Ishizu. So let's press the duel button. Oh, Yugi was kind of spinning right around right, right, right there. You saw that? Street duel? Sure, let's duel. Ah, so you can duel people early on. All right, Shadow Spectre's the ante. All right. Yeah, let's just try to improve the starter deck. What is that? That is... Thomas R's. That seems to be pretty common. Um, let's see. Let's just go with... Forest. Uh, let's go with the... Fury Sea King. Why not? Nice. No traps. Good. Oh, and we got Doma here. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Doma's actually a shadow, even though she's a fairy. Okay. And the AI seems to like playing that card. Grave Digger Wolf, for whatever reason. All right. We'll just play our next strongest. Yeah. And like, if you don't have the type uh, matchup, like, obviously that seems to be my main strategy. Is just, you know, attack with your strongest and then move on. Something I should start doing, though, is, like, one thing you will notice is that, yeah, like, if the AI doesn't attack you, that means that, obviously, like, they don't have a, a super effective match against these two, you know, at the very least. So I should start attacking with, like, what's already on the field first. Because that, that last duel, I kept, like, summoning... <laughs> I kept like summoning Droll Bird and other stuff like into bad type effects, uh, effect matchups. Like that won't happen if you just use what's already on the field. Because obviously if they had a type advantage, they would attack you. So that's one way to go about it, I guess. Mm-hmm. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's just go with... This is what I this is what I prefer to do too. Like I don't prefer to tribute, you know, too early. I prefer to like fill up my field and then, you know, if they play some kind of comeback card, like if they play like Beckon of Darkness on my Fury Seeking, like, okay, then I'll tribute, you know. So But ultimately tributing at the right time can save you like life point damage, so I don't know. That's just the way I prefer to do it, guys. You know, free field a duel however you want. So um, I think I will tribute now, though, speaking of tributes. Let's sacrifice Trollbird for Doma. There we go. Uh, Hinotama Sou, can you do it? Nice, full servant. And, okay. Alright, it's gonna be one more turn. Get him, Thunder Kid. Kaminari Kozo. Alright. 
Well, the good part is, is like these guys don't seem to be too tough here, which I mean, you wouldn't expect. Oh, so Earth is good against Thunder. That does make sense, though, in in my in what's going on in my head. Um, okay, so Earth is good against uh, Light. So that makes sense. That makes sense. All right, Dumma, finish him off. I wonder if he'll increase this by three too. Most people in this game will only increase your deck capacity by one. That's why I was so shocked those two guys increased it by three. Uh, oh, this guy does by three, too. Okay, sweet. Dark plant. A malignant flower grown in polluted soil with dark powers. Oh, it's a fiend. <laughs> it is extremely wild and vicious. Hmm. <sighs> I knew I needed to be better. Eh, it's okay, buddy. Let's check our life points. Oh, we're good. Okay. Well... Yeah, these guys, are, if nothing else, we are increasing our deck capacity, so that's good. Let's save on state 7 before I challenge the guy with glasses here. Okay. And uh, what is our duelist level right now? Only 78. Okay. So, yeah, as you can see, it's going to take a while to get it get it up to where we can put a uh, cannon soldier in the deck. Duel me. You must be a bad duelist if you're out here. Oh, you think so, huh? Bring it on. It's my turn. Yeah. Oh, and he showed his monster right away. Weird. Why not just play it face down? So that's a uh, white dolphin. Aqua. Um, hmm. We can actually beat it with lightning conjure. Let's play this in defense mode, see if he takes the bait. I mean, I really shouldn't do this because he could just tribute it, but uh, I want to see. Okay. Good. Good. <laughs> yeah. Looks like your fish got a little static shockwave. <laughs> and Contra does have good defense, if nothing else. Uh, let's just go with this. And we'll attack with the T-Dragon. Okay. It was another one. All right. All right. You're only allowed one more of those in your deck, buddy. We got all the tribute monsters here. Tawar, Peacock, Leogun. Yeah. The gang was all here, man. Uh, honestly, as far as tributes go in this game, really, you only want to see... It's it's so weird. Because you really want to see your tributes both at the right time and... Ah, uh, uh, okay. That's, that's a little cheap shot, but you know what? It's cool. I do the same thing with Mystic Lamp. So, yeah, it's so weird. I mean, honestly, seeing two one tributes is okay, but, uh, yeah, you know what I mean? But, like, I don't know. Like, sometimes it's so weird. Like, sometimes you won't see any tributes the whole game, and you're like, man, if only I could have just gotten one tribute monster. You know what I mean? So, whoops. I forgot Force Beats win. My bad. My bad, Petite Dragon. My bad. Uh, that's gonna be a tough one to remember. Forest beats win. Because normally in my head cannon, like, you know, like, let's say, let's take it in terms of Pokemon. Wing attack is super effective against grass types or bug types. But in this game, for whatever reason, Forest is actually good against win. So it's almost reversed. I, that, that's gonna be like one of the hardest ones for me to remember, you know, for sure. So. Force beats win. Force beats win. I, I will try, guys, but if I get that wrong, like, you know, 20 more times in this LP, I mean, can you really blame me? <laughs> I mean, dude, drill pick is supposed to be super effective on, you know, bug types. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> on force types. So, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, four speed win. That is gonna be that's gonna be one of the toughest ones for me to remember. I guarantee it. Alright, uh let's just attack with this. Because it was already on the field. Arm ninja. Okay. Alright, I think we win here. Get jar and then Leo gun. Alright. Sweet. Alright, are you gonna increase me by three two? I mean if so, I'm not complaining. Sweet. Okay. Dancing elf. We don't really need that card in the deck, but okay. We'll take the capacity. I said all the top duelists are aboard the Duel Express, but I may be wrong. You are pretty tough. Ah, yeah. uh, let's see. We did take a little damage there, but I'm not like too, too, too worried. So, okay. Oh, yeah, we haven't really been up here, have we? Okay. Uh, okay. 
Is there anything to the to the right here? No. Is there anything up north? Oh no. Okay, it just cuts off here. Okay, well I guess we'll duel this guy. But first, let me save here. So we'll go for state number five. There we go. All right, buddy, let's duel. I'll duel with a deck I made exclusively for the Duel Express Tournament. Yeah, whatever you say. All right, Shadow Spectre, you're up. And I guess I could anti my cannon soldier, and maybe they give us a better card, but yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, let's just start with Starboy face down defense. I'll do. I'll do. Ooh, rainbow flower, huh? Uh, and you are. Forests. Don't use wind. Don't use wind. I'm gonna start saying it every time. That way, maybe, maybe I'll remember it. <laughs> All right, Starboy, get him. Nice. Yeah. All right, and the turns go by pretty quickly in this game, so it's gonna be tough to remember to get like drink breaks. But oh, bro. Okay, so Fiend beats dreams. Fiend beats dreams. Okay. you're not uh, earth or whatever you're not forest so, ah yeah forest beats wind fiend beats dreams hmm. that's gonna be key to remember yeah there are a lot of dream monsters later in the game so okay we're good here let's just use let's just us uh, no, no no we'll tackle marvin jar shadow specter okay yeah, I don't, I don't mind if I lose, like, one monster, you know. This thing does have pretty weak attack, though. But who knows? We may need the Earth typing at some point. You know, you never know. Oh, and he didn't attack. I'm probably going to attack with my Jar, then, because he must not be good against Earth. Uh, we'll go with this. Let's see. Attack. Ah, it was just only 300. Cool. Phantom Dewan. Man, and it's so weird how, like, uh... <laughs> It's both weird, and it, at the same time, I kind of love it. This Yu-Gi-Oh game, for Shuffle of Destruction, it's almost like in its own world. I mean, think about it. Like, most starter decks, like, let's take the starter deck of Nightmare Troubadour. I mean, you're going to start with stuff that, I mean, you might have one, like, 1400, like Celtic Guardian. You know, you might have, like, some that are, like, 1200. You might have some, you might have, like, one... Uh, like, a, yeah, I think I started like in that game, started you with Reran, which is 2200 for two tributes, and it has like 2600 defense, which is pretty good. But this game, like, look, look at what we're doing. Look at this field. We're attacking with a monster that has 550, two monsters that have 600, and a monster that has 700 points. Like, this era of Yu Gi Oh! is, is basically like. It's basically in a world of its own. It's in a class of its own, and I love it. it it's 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 both like um, kind of amazing and kind of it can be kind of frustrating at the same time. My three again. Wow. Okay. Hanawa. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. Five hundred. Five hundred. An animated Earth earthenware figure from an ancient time. It guards treasures in a. It guards treasures in a tomb from a king from long ago. Okay. We'll probably put this in our deck. Yeah. I know what. Maybe it's a good thing I'm not on the Duel Express. Yeah, maybe, buddy. All right. Let's uh, take something out of our deck. Uh, start. There we go. Okay. Let's go all the way to the bottom. And I really should uh, start doing this by type effectiveness, but we do have some pretty weak stuff in our deck in the beginning, like Dancing Elf. So I'll take that out for Hanawa. But uh, later on, you'll notice that basically, like, whenever I swap out cards, I'll basically only do it based on, you know, because you do kind of want to keep a, a good variety of types. Um, just because, like, you know, if, if you don't have, you know, uh... Oh, we have, like, two more of this. Okay. Let's go back to the deck. I didn't realize that. Um, maybe we can... Well, I guess we could swap out these spiders for that then, too. That's 500-500. Uh, maybe, like, like I was just saying, 
about type effectiveness. Like for example, this is Earth, so why not add this to the trunk? Put Hanawa in, because Hanawa's Earth, yeah? Yeah, yeah, so that's what you'll start me seeing me do, you know, um, especially a lot later in the game, like, only swapping out via type effectiveness, you know, so, because you do want, you know, a variety, that way you at least have a chance, you know, well, unless you know you're going up against a very specific matchup, and you know, like, oh man, you know, I'm going up against Mako, let me pack all the lightnings in my deck, you know, so or more lightnings than usual, you know, so, yeah, okay, so let's see what areas we've cleared out now, so we've cleared out this little section here, uh, these two guys, we've cleared out this guy, okay, I just want to make sure I duel these guys at least once each, let's try to duel these two guys, uh, we'll do one this episode, and then we'll start the next episode with the other one. So, the, we'll do overalls in this episode. Street duel in the city where the duel disc was invented. Ah, this is exactly the kind of duel I've been waiting for. Let's do it. I'm so glad I finally figured out the button. Okay, and like I said, maybe I should try Cannon Soldier. Maybe that would produce uh, better results as far as our drops. So let's go to Cannon Soldier, as risky as it is. It's not actually a risk because we did just save, so... Uh, where is Cannon Soldier? Like, maybe we'll win a better card, maybe. Alright, Cannon Soldier. Oh, a one-of-a-kind card can't be made in Antique. Oh, really? Okay. Well, then we'll do something with 550. How about uh, Starboy? Yeah. What? Well, how about Flame Dancer? There we go. Yeah, that has 550. Yeah, it's a little stronger. Uh, this hand could be better. This is kind of like one of the hands I'm talking about. It's just like, what am I supposed to do with this hand? I don't have any tributes, you know, if we encounter something real strong. So, hehe, <laughs> chain slime, huh? All right. Hmm. Well, we did just beat your water monster, so let's put out a pyro monster. All right, Phantom, get him. And this thing is dreams type, so I guess I have to watch out for any fiends, so, okay. Yeah, fiends beat dreams, apparently. Uh, okay. You revealed my hand, oh no. Aw, oh, he had another one. Okay, okay. That's alright, that's alright. We drew... Oh, candle of feet. Aye. Oh, we definitely attack with Phantom Thief first. Candle of feet. Give him the finger. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Lego. Man, a lot of people seem to have this early on. I guess mainly just to annoy you, you know, so make you run back home and, you know, heal your life points. Uh, let's go with weather. Oh, and don't use force because, yeah, I mean, don't use bend because force means win. I'm remembering. I'm learning. I'm learning. Control the weather. Alright, Phantom Thief. <laughs> Phantom Thief looks a little bit like White Magical Hat. Yeah, I love it. It's like the pre-design for White Magical Hat. Alright. Tribute Monster, please? Um, not quite yet, but we did get Ginnon. Ginnon is pretty solid. Ginnon's probably like the best monster in our starter deck. You know, like the best, like, you know, monster we can normal summon regularly. You know what I mean? Yeah, see ya, Hain Hain. We barely got over. Control the weather. And Phantom Thief Strike. Alright. We're doing good here. Ooh. Yeah, that was a lot of damage there. Tribute Monster. Oh man, yeah. And see, see what I mean? Like in this duel, we did we just didn't draw one at all, so. Alright. I think we win here though, so let's uh spider. Oh, I guess, yeah, I guess I can. Oh, dude, I can win with sparks. Oh, the memes, the memes, guys. Uh, okay, let's do that. Let's watch his life points. Okay, 2250. Uh, Candle of Fate. Aye. Uh, can I win with sparks? Can I win with sparks? Uh, 9. 
what was that, 950? Oh, we're so close. Oh, we're so close to greatness. I almost could have finished him with sparks. But not quite. Okay. We needed everything. Alright. By three again. We will take it. What card do we get here? Ah, oh, we don't want that. Yeah, that's not a good card at all. That is our first spell card, though. Our all to do this in the town of Domino this strong, I'm way out of my league. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Alright, so next time we'll come back, we'll duel not the overall guy, but the other guy that's right here. So, Alrighty, guys, but uh, with that being said, I'm going to go back home and save and heal in between episodes. Uh, yeah, thanks for joining me on uh, Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Rashif of Destruction. Rashif? Uh, how do you guys say it, by the way? You know, do you say it like Rashif? Rashif? Uh, Ra Rashif? Oh, that actually sounds cool. Rashif of Destruction. That might be how it's actually said. Rashif. I have no idea. But uh, how do you guys say it? <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys all next time. Bye-bye. Have a good day.